Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the proof of theorem 1.3 from real numbers from NCRT class 10th. Here the theorem is let P be a prime number. If P divides A square then P divides A where A is a positive integer. So here we know that prime numbers means the numbers which are having only two factors 1 and the number itself. So 2, 3, 5, 7 etc. these numbers are called prime numbers. And here a is a positive integer. So square of this positive integer is exactly divisible by p or p divides a square. Then we have to prove that that positive integer is exactly divisible by the that prime number. So here we have to prove that p divides a means a is exactly divisible by p. So here given a is a positive integer, so we know that as per fundamental theorem of arithmetic any uh, composite number we can express as product of the prime factors. So here a we can express as product of the prime factors that is p1 into p2 into p3 into etc into pn. This is first equation. Here p1, p2, p3 etc pn are prime factors and squaring on both sides then a square is equal to p1 into p2. 2 into p3 into etc into pn whole square that is equal to p1 square into p2 square into p3 square into etc into pn square. So this is second equation. Now the given statement is p divides a square that means a square is exactly divisible by p or p is a prime factor of a square. From second equation a square prime factors are p1, p2, p3 etc pn. But here p is a prime factor of a square. So p is one of these prime factors. Therefore p is one of these prime factors p1, p2, p3 etc pn from second equation. And uh, here p1, p2, p3 etc pn are already prime factors of a. Therefore p is also a factor of a. So p divides a. If p is a factor of a means p divides a or a is exactly divisible by p. Therefore, if p divides a square, then p divides a. Now, you can see with an example. For example, let the positive integer a is equal to 30. So, you can express this positive integer as um, product of the prime factor. So, we can express 30 as 2 square into 3 into 5. So, here the prime factors are 2, 3, 5. p1, p2, p3 are 2, 3, 5. So a square is equal to 30 whole square that is equal to the prime factors whole square. So 2 square into 3 into 5 whole square that is 2 to the power of 4 into 3 square into 5 square. So here if you see the prime factors the prime factors are same 2 3 5 here also 2 3 5. Therefore p can be any of these prime factors you can say uh, 2 is divisible uh, a square is divisible by 2 or a square is divisible by 3 or a square is divisible by 5 or uh, here the prime factors 2 uh, divides a square or 3 divides a square or 5 divides a square. So p can be any of these 3 factors 2 or 3 or 5. So if p is equal to 3 for example if you take the prime factor p as 3 then 3 divides a square that is 900 therefore 3 divides a is equal to 30 here a is equal to 30 so if 3 divides a square then 3 divides a.